If you want to make semiconductor chips, you're going to need to go through one of these five companies. This is what we often refer to in the semiconductor and electronics manufacturing industry as a critical choke point. But Despite what you've heard or maybe have inferred from some of these earnings reports from the Fab Five, these companies are actually in a new growth cycle. Yes, it's a cyclical business, but as you can see from this chart, it's still very much in growth mode. And what has ultimately happened here for Applied Materials with this latest quarterly update and the outlook for the October 2025 quarter is we are hitting a bit of cyclicality and nothing more than that. That actually is the exception, not the norm. A lot of the business through this last quarter has actually continued to make new all-time highs, especially memory and advanced packaging. Total revenue expected to be around $6.7 billion at the midpoint. This is not a guaranteed terrible quarter. This is what some might call a fortress balance sheet. All of this can't change the fact that the stock did drop after earnings. This very much looks like a cash flow statement and balance sheet of a company that is finding plenty of productive places to put capital in anticipation of long-term investment returns.